Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Explosions Rock Kiev is Kherson Falls to Russian Invaders. Summary of headline article. EXPLOSIONS lit up the sky over Kyiv overnight as Russian forces seized control of the southern port city of Kherson. In Kherson, the mayor said Russian troops had forced their way into the city council building and imposed a curfew on residents. It is the first city to fall to Russian forces since they invaded eight days ago. A war crimes investigation has begun after Boris Johnson accused Vladimir Putin of committing atrocities by bombarding cities in his invasion of Ukraine. The move came as Ukraine's capital Kyiv braced for a siege. Its second largest city Kharkiv reeled from further strikes. From Huff Post under the main headline of Will Roman Abramovich face sanctions? And could that affect the sale of Chelsea? Summary of headline article. Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich. Reuters staff via Reuters is Roman Abramovich confirmed he is selling Chelsea Football Club amid Russia's continued invasion of Ukraine. The threat of sanctions from the UK government looms. Should his UK assets be frozen? Then Abramovich would be left unable to complete a sale of the Premier League club. Advertisement he said on Wednesday that net proceeds of the sale of Chelsea are going to a charity. Supporting victims of the war in Ukraine. Chelsea fans in the away end here with repeated chants of Roman Abramovich. Roman Abramovich. Pick.twitter.com slash B56PQN6B55. James Olly. At James Olly. March 2nd. 2022 What is the government doing? From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine War. What we know on day 8. Summary of headline article. The International Criminal Court. ICC has confirmed it is opening an investigation into possible war crimes in Ukraine and begun collecting evidence. The Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, has come under more heavy shelling as Russian forces step up their offensive and move forces closer towards the capital in an apparent attempt to encircle it. Police in Moscow detained two women and five children holding a poster outside the Ukraine embassy. That said, no to war. In St. Petersburg, Yelena Osipova, an activist said to have survived the infamous wartime siege of Leningrad was detained for protesting against the war. Russian paratroopers landed in Ukraine's second city, Kharkiv, following several days of bombardment that has killed or wounded dozens of civilians. From iNews under the main headline of Vladimir Putin's plan is falling apart after seven days of war. Summary of headline article. In a television address, Mr. Putin said he was ordering a special military operation aimed at the demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine. Many experts claim that, so far at least, Mr. Putin has wildly miscalculated. Within 48 hours the capital and up to four other cities would be captured. According to British and Ukrainian defense sources. There were huge amounts of low morale in the Russian forces. We've seen lots of surrenders, he added. Mr. Wallace said that Mr. Putin was someone who seems to know no limit to how much violence they will use to achieve their aims. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine crisis. What sanctions could West still impose on Russia? Summary of headline article. We are at a 7 or 8 out of 10 on the escalation ladder right now, said Emily Kilcrease. Senior fellow and director of the Energy, Economics and Security Program at the Washington Think Tank.
the Center for New American Security. There is definitely still room to go with tightening. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. 1M refugees have fled since invasion. Russian controls imposed in Kherson. Says Mera Euro. Live. Summary of headline article. The price of benchmark Brent crude oil added another 3.4% in early trade on Thursday to climb to $116.80. Pick.twitter.com slash TL4 FCSGW Atina Teng. Markets analyst at CMC Markets in Sydney. Said commodity prices would keep rising. The Russia-Ukraine war has been pumping up global commodity prices. Not only because of the supply disruption, but also resulting from hedging activities. Markets have priced in for a much tighter oil supply. With oil tankers and shippers in a standoff for Russia's exports. China has also ordered the state-owned buyers to store major commodities. Including oil. Gas iron ore and agriculture products. From Sky News under the main headline of Russian police detain children and old women as they try to quell anti-war movement. Summary of headline article. Five children and an elderly woman are among the Russians who have been arrested for protesting against the war in Ukraine. Seven-year-olds Sonia and David. Nine-year-old Matvi and 11-year-olds Liza and Gosha were detained along with their mothers after laying flowers and holding anti-war posters outside the Ukrainian embassy in Moscow. Image. The children had been laying flowers at the Ukrainian embassy in Moscow. Muz Zavizian was arrested and the children cried, leaving her pleading with police to be allowed to calm them down. Instead, she was locked in a police van and taken to a police station with her children, her friend, and her friend's children. From BBC under the main headline of newspaper headlines. Welcome to hell, as Putin, lays waste, to Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Image caption. The Daily Telegraph reports that the first major Ukrainian city has fallen to the Russians. After the mayor of the strategically important city of Kherson said it was in enemy hands and Moscow planned to set up a military administration there. The paper says it means that Russia has now established a bridgehead from which its forces can cross the river Dnieper and head westwards and northwards to attack the capital Kyiv from a second direction. From the sun under the main headline of captured Russian troops beg to return home and claim Putin. Lied to them. Summary of headline article. Captured Russian troops yesterday claimed they were thrown into war as cannon fodder and lied to by Vladimir Putin. They pleaded to be returned home. After Ukrainians celebrated using British weapons to obliterate tanks and armored personnel carriers. It came after British weapons were used as Ukrainians ambushed the Russian column with Belfast-built shoulder-fired missiles called the NLAW. Next generation light anti-tank weapons. Yesterday Ukrainian defense officials said their forces have destroyed nearly 1,500 Russian vehicles, including 211 tanks and killed 5,840 troops. Five the prisoners wept. No one wants war, five Varon says. We were lied to and that's why I am here. From the Independent under the main headline of a year on from Sarah Everard. Women still feel unsafe. Summary of headline article. Sarah Everard is a name I wish I didn't know. Sarah Everard made headlines because she was young, pretty, white, middle class, and she was only walking home, all of which made her the perfect victim. Sarah Everard made headlines because what unfolded was an elaborate, escalating tale of horror.
laced with a devastating abuse of power. In an ideal world we won't remember the names of women murdered by men because there wouldn't be any. There have been times at night when I've been walking home or waiting at a bus stop. And I've thought of Sarah Everard. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day and goodbye.